so today we will see the determination of crystal structure by Bragg's method so it is also known as Bragg's rotating crystal method so first of all we will see the construction of this Bragg's method how it is constructed for this method use the x-ray spectrometer as shown below so if we observe there is a one x-ray tube in which generation of x-ray takes place so there is a continuous rays are falling on this target material one target material is used in this x-ray tube these the two ends are connected one is positive second one is negative and the target material is there when the rays falls on the surface then it gets reflected and this reflected x-ray goes towards the focusing slit so this slit is used for focusing the single rays that is through a small pinhole arrangement and this rays is falls on the surface of crystal now this crystal is present on one device that device is nothing but a turning table this table is continuously turning because of which this crystal is rotating as this crystal is rotating the angle of rotation is continuously changing so what is the main important point is that the angle of rotation is continuously changing but the wavelength remains constant that means lambda is constant but this crystal is rotating because of which this angle of rotation is changing and we have to see this angle of rotation with the help of this recording device so either it may be a photographic plate or simple iron uh, exchanger or a photographic plate is used for the recording this angle of rotation that is the reflected ray from the surface of crystal so if you there are the names given that is the turning table so this one is the crystal sample so this one is the recording device so this one is the focusing slit so this one is x-ray tube this one is target material so in this way this construction completed so it is a simple x-ray spectrometer construction <coughs> now we'll see what is the main theme of this method that is the Bragg's rotating crystal method so if you observed the x-ray is generated in a tube T and they are passed through a slit so that slit because of which we obtain a narrow beam of radiation for focusing strongly so then x-ray are then allowed to strike on the single crystal C which is mounted on turning table so this table is continuously rotating because this crystal is present on the turning table table is moving so crystal is moving because of which angle of rotation is continuously changing so this crystal is rotated gradually by turning table and increase the glancing angle at which x-rays are exposed to face of a crystals it means because of the rotation of this crystal this crystal which is present on rotating table so angle of rotation is continuously changing for the different faces of the crystal we are changing the face of the crystal also so intensity of the reflected x-rays are measured on a recording device r which may be a ionization chamber or photographic plate we will see the next part in the next video